Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty, and as you guessed it, we're continuing the Try Something New in the last week of Modern Warfare 3. And when I say something new, I mean something different. Not the static HV or the MCW or any other Modern Warfare 3 weapon. I'm talking about Modern Warfare 2 weapons that recently got buffed that are kind of OP, if you ask me. One of them is the SPR-208. That was one of the mainstays of Modern Warfare Fair 2 as far as battle rifles, only outclassed by the SAB-50, but the SPR now probably has turned the tables on it. Let's have a quick look at the configuration. There it is. Let's see what this thing can do. 251 damage to the head, so it's a one-shot gag. 180 to the upper and the lower torso, so it's a one-shot gag there too. And even the upper legs gives you 120. And how far out does it go? 18.4 meters. That's a good distance on the kinds of maps that we're going to be playing, mostly the five-map shipment mode. Minimum damage range reaches out to 50.5 meters. Meters, and the bullet velocity is 753 and a half meters, making the hit scan range about 37 and a half, 37.75 meters. Rate of fire, not really all that fast at about 70 rounds a minute. The movement speed is okay at 4.4. The tactical sprint speed is up there, and the ADS speed a bit slow at 317 milliseconds. These are composite numbers. Hit fire spread is at 4.4 degrees per second. One attachment that you absolutely need, and that is the FSS ST87 bolt, and that's what gets the rate of fire up to this absolutely herd of wild turtles pace of 69.8 rounds per minute. And I did mention a buff. When Season 6 released, the SPR-208 got a buff, increased the maximum damage range 57%, and here's the big one. Lower torso damage multiplier from 1 times to 1.5 times. That's the 180 damage. Let's go into the shooting range and see what this thing looks like. Okay, up close, 1. I must, must not have gotten that in the upper or lower torso. There's an upper torso shot. Or, actually, it was beyond the damage range. Let's do that again. Whoa. Anybody who thinks there is an aim assist in the shooting range, I just showed you that there was. There's a one-shot gack to the head, and that's at, what, 25 meters? And let's try the upper torso. One, two, of course. Let's try the upper torso here. Yep, it's a one-shot gack. What about in the back? You can see there's some aim idle sway there. One, two. So it's a two-shot GAC all the way in the back. Let's take the newly buffed SPR-208 while we can onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's often surprised that I could make the shot enemies. Let's go. All right, let, let's get into this. Domination. Of course, everybody that's been a part of the channel or watch some videos knows that I like that five shipment map mode. I think they're awesome. I think they're absolutely awesome. I think that if you don't love shipment, you might not love COD. I don't know. But I understand some people don't like how hectic it is. What I like about shipment are the engagements that I get. The flat out amount of engagements. It has improved my gun skills over the years more than any other thing. And I guess there are some people that already have the skills and they just like the bigger maps. Okay, I get it. <laughs> right. All right, so uh, we're on the SPR. And by the way, uh, um, it is my favorite map. Well, Nuketown. I like Nuketown, too. It's a little more wide open. But I also go for camo grinds. Enough about shipment. Let's gack some folks. Is that a bubble head there? The SPR 208 just got an amazing buff. One shot gack to the upper torso. And 
I'm sorry, one shot gag to the lower torso all the way up to the head. There's obligatory knife for tell you towards the end of Modern Warfare 3 and there's a week to go. There have been more knifers, more shield users than I've ever seen. And I guess people will watch this slow motion, a collat that shows you how powerful the SPR is. I guess people, I don't know what people are wanting to do. Knifing's the easiest thing there is. Maybe they're trying to pad their KD before Modern Warfare 3 ends. Maybe they want to troll. You already know what I think about KD if you've watched the channel. It's completely irrelevant unless you're talking team deathmatch or search and destroy. Free for all, maybe. If you only play those modes, then tell me about your KD. But if you include hardpoint, control, domination, kill confirmed in the mix, I don't want to hear about your KD because I see people, even some people that play with us on the streams occasionally can't. Uh, I guess to pad their score a little bit because they don't like to be lower on the on the leaderboard, but that doesn't help the team. So in any case, I love it. I love them all. Love everybody. Come on, get that uh, whatever she is. That skin is supposed to be. Not really sure. Maybe if you do know, comment below what movie or cartoon or comic book or whatever that skin is from because I really don't know. I also don't know why I keep getting streaks dropped on me. So I'm in hardpoint. I'm not going to care about KD and I'll leave a link below to my video on sometimes it's okay to go negative. In fact, often it is. As long as you're Getting the points, capping the flags, soaking at the hard point. It's okay. As long as you win. And as far as streaks, with the exception of the missile type streaks and the cluster mines, the IMS, that sort of thing. Really, you can streak poop proof yourself, so you don't have to worry about choppers. You don't have to worry about VTOLs or turrets or anything like that. Hacked IFF strobe. That's the key to keeping you safe and healthy. If people are so-called feeding streaks, there's that whatever skin again. All right. The, I, I like sniping. Ooh. Got, got it. It got me, a uh, person behind that skin. And there's the first one. Worked out pretty good. Right back at Dom again. I think I played it like four or five times in a row. And I wanted to get the content out here because I had some family obligations. So I only had a chance to play a couple of games. In my stream, I, I played a couple of more with the SPR 208. If you haven't tried it in a while, you will be shocked. It is much more powerful. And this, yeah, that person gacked me. And this uh, Modern Warfare 3 than it was in Modern Warfare 2. And it was powerful there, but I remember my son, who's a decent player, he's in his 20s, telling me that it's a hit marker machine. Well, from the belly to the top of the noggin, it is not a, it is not a hit marker machine. It's a gacamole. You serve chips with the gacamole with this one. I'm still amazed that I heard people just absolutely hate shipment and wanted it want it out of out of COD. I mean, if you don't want to play a map, any map, you don't have to. I mean, I don't like the rail, but I don't want it out of COD. Just don't play it when it shows up. Somebody trying to spoil everybody's fun. 
What was that guy? He looked like kind of a ant suit or something. Come on, come on, come on. Thorn Apple won't get out of the way there. There's Red Riding Hood. Now, don't mistake her with Goldilocks. Grandpa did that in the video. What is this? Grandpa did that in the video, and he had Goldilocks feeding the three bears, which everybody knows it's the big bad wolf that got the Cinnabons that she's carrying to Grandma. Of course, uh, I think the big bad wolf, I don't know, they ended up liking each other or something. I don't remember the fairy tale. Or a woodsman came in or something. But I tell you what, I did have a pet wolf, and I'm not even joking here. It was a 100% wolf. I got from a wolf breeder in New Mexico. I used to have a little private plane, a little Cessna, and I flew out there and picked up the wolf. She was the most wonderful pet. Lived with me for 20 years. Wolves live 20 years in captivity, and she was the most wonderful, loving, obedient pet I ever had. <laughs> One time she, she dug a a wolf lair under my house took about five or six tons of dirt to fill it in i mean she had rooms i went down in the thing i was a little frightened to collapse on me but it was round so i went in there and she had a couple of rooms i don't know what she thought she was spayed she wasn't going to have wolf cubs so try the spr and let me know how it goes for you As always, a like and subscribe, I appreciate it. Truly do. Helps me, helps the family, helps the channel growth. I mean, a lot of you out there, and I appreciate each and every one of you who show up to the streams and who subscribe and who have joined the Air Crew Lounge, supported the channel. Thank you. And thank you for watching. SPR, grade A marksman rifle. In fact, I use it for challenges now for the next six days. So cheers and peace to you.